on behalf of my wife and I, we would like to thank everyone for coming today. Um, it really wouldn't have been the same without all of you. It um, would have been a lot cheaper, but um, it wouldn't have been the same. Uh, where to start with Georgie, who I think we can all agree looks absolutely stunning tonight. Um, now, for you, those of you who don't know, me and Georgie actually met when we were 11 years old. Um, she came to meet me at our primary school. Um, me and Georgie became closer and closer through the years after that. Um, and I'd often find myself at her house at ridiculous times. Everyone but me and Georgie thought that we would end up being together. Uh, but for some reason, it just didn't happen. Um, now, I'm not one to believe in fate, but I do believe for some reason we were meant to go our separate paths in order to realise what was there all along. Um, thankfully, a few years later, we would realise it was meant to be. And after Georgie had me sitting in a friend's garden for hours staring up at the stars one night, um, I suddenly felt this urge that I had to do or say something. Um, and that's when I decided to let my feelings know. Um, and now look where we are as a <laughs> husband and wife. We saw these two grow up together, especially Corey from a boy to a man. And I don't think me and her mum could ask for a better young man to take on his eldest daughter. They go well together. They work well together as a couple. They help each other in times of need, wants, desires. Just in life generally, it's what it should be. It's why we're here today to celebrate it to celebrate their love of coming together. And it's beautiful. Uh, in all seriousness, it's an honor to be here as best man to uh, my brother on this wedding day and to have witnessed, along with many people here, uh, these childhood sweethearts blossom into a perfect relationship, now as husband and wife. And I think we'd all agree, and if we could raise a glass to this, uh, you are perfectly suited, both look fantastic today and what an incredible privilege it is to be part of this day with you, so uh, to the party group. So good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to Dodmore House. It is a venue which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And we are here today to celebrate the marriage of Corey and Georgina. I promise to give you my love and friendship to support and comfort you through good times and through troubled times. I promise to care for you with love and patience, to respect and cherish you. I promise never to take you for granted and to be faithful to you always. These promises I make to you sincerely and for the rest of my life. Corey Jake Lewis and Georgina Nicola Crofts you have now made your declarations of marriage as prescribed by law and through them have made a solemn and binding contract with each other. So therefore, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are now lawfully joined together as husband and wife. And I think we know what to do now, you two, don't we? Give her a kiss, Corey. Congratulations. Well, I can stand here and give you the obvious and tell you how beautiful Georgie is or how talented she is, how kind and supportive and how wonderful she is. But I don't think I really need to. I think whenever she walks in the room, we can see that. Um, I'm just the lucky one, I guess, who gets to see that every single day. Um, but to me, Georgie, you are way more than that. 
you are my best friend, my soulmate. The first one I want to share the good news with and celebrate with, but also the one I can count on to console me when I'm down or something bad happens. Uh, Georgie, before I say anything else, you look incredible today. Uh, you're a wonderful woman, kind, caring, funny and beautiful, and as such you deserve a wonderful husband. I'm really sorry that Corey got in there before he could find one. Uh, but in all seriously, Georgie, uh, I've known you since we were young kids, uh, and uh, but long before any wedding bells were sounding, uh, you became a part of our family. Uh, today might have made it official, but I've always thought of you as my sister-in-law, and I'm really excited to welcome you into the next chapter of your lives together. I feel blessed to be able to call you my wife, and one day I hope that you will agree with me when I say that you are such an amazing woman. You are more than just my wife, you are my best friend, and I want to thank you for agreeing to marry me and making me the happiest man in the world. So before I pass on to my best man, I would like to have one last big choice to my beautiful wife, Georgie. times and I can only hope that I can come close to showing you the love that you show me every single day.